Okay, what up everybody? Um, it's your favorite Asian robot, and unfortunately I'm still unwell right now, so what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a minimal chatting stream. So let's rock some Diablo 4. Alright, and we will do some minimal chatting today, because I'm still very ill, but I want to stream for y'all anyway. Let me see. There we go. And posted. Okay, so although chatting will be minimal. Hey, yeah, I'm doing all right, but uh, actually what I have is the flu, so I'm keeping chat to a minimum, Brian. But welcome regardless. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Um, you're already subscribed, but just don't forget to like and share. Um... Right now, what I want is for more people to like the streams and share the content. Because the faster that I get out there, the better. Hello, Kevin. Welcome. Uh, I'm doing okay. Surviving. I'll be keeping chat to a minimum, though, so I do apologize for that. It's just because, obviously, uh, I'm still unwell. But uh, <laughs> even with minimum chat, we should have a decent time. <clears throat> Let me check for the one thing I want in store. Come and don the mantle of history's champions. Majority of this equipment is ugly. <clears throat> the best sorcerer outfit still is not in there, so that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I've been showing my love to Sorcerer quite a few streams before I took time off, Brian, so I think you missed those. If you did, make sure to go and watch them, because the last few streams before I took time off as well, I was also still playing Sorcerer. Okay. Let's get things going. So you guys are going to be my voice for today. <clears throat> and if you could, please, uh, please do like, alright, and share. The more people that like and share the content, the better. <clears throat> faster I get my name out, the more viewership we have, the more content I can make as soon as I get well. Um, I'm not too bad today, Callie, just, uh, obviously because I'm coughing a lot, I am minimizing the amount of chatting I'm doing, so I might type some responses today, but more or less, uh, I'm just gonna take a chilled out, chilled out stream today, you know, and I'll let you guys do the chatting for me. Hey, hey, newbie, what's up, man? Good to see you, good to see you. And like I said to everybody, don't forget to like and share. Okay, the more we get the name of the stream out, the better. Alright. More viewership equals more content equals I can do more. Alright, Capstone Dungeon for World Tier 4. I'm actually doing it with the Raymond of the Infinite because I kind of want to see what zero damage reduction will do to me. How bad is it going to be? Let's test it out for real. Oh, that's right. We'll take a potion as well, but we'll take one that doesn't really uh, impact us much. Mm. Let's take the uh, demon slaying elixir. <clears throat> well, thank you, Callie. Appreciate that. Always got to appreciate folks having my back. I mean, I'm personally interested for a lot of the changes that are coming, so... Either way, I want to make sure that I get my Sork uh, work done. Lots of people also looking forward to my... To my uh, Druid and stuff, so... Oh man, I've missed playing Diablo these past few days. Some people from my Discord already know about an upcoming project as well next month, so stay excited for that. I cannot share details. Only my Discord people know for now, but... Uh, 
let's just say we're very excited for a lot of the cool stuff coming to the Robot Nation. So, there's a lot to get hyped for. It's so easy to do damage, I gotta admit that. <clears throat> but thank you to those of you who showed up today. I know it wasn't expected, but it's very nice to see some good faces here, yeah? What the? Did my character get like sucked in or something? That was really interesting to see. Huh. <clears throat> I did not know they could do that. I've literally never seen that before. Unless it was server lag. Let's put the latency back on because that was weird. I guess I'll have to take this a bit more seriously. Um, that's literally never happened before. Now, I, I want everybody to keep in mind that I'm playing com almost completely without damage reduction. Uh, this is to... This is to adjust for the upcoming potential changes to Temerity. So look forward to that. Hey Cheshire, I'm doing uh, better physically, but uh, still obviously have the cough, flu, sore throat, all that kind of stuff. Like basically everything that I would have when I have a flu. Um, but I really miss streaming and also, you know... I don't want you guys to forget me, so I'm back here. But I decided to do a stream with like minimal chatting, so I'll just keep it chill. I I recovered from the fever portion. Like at least I'm not having a temperature anymore. Cause actually that day that I was pretending I was okay, like my temperature was actually spiking quite high. And uh, the next day I was like laid up in bed. I took one additional day off as well, so it, like completely cured the fever. So now it's just the throat and stuff. But the throat and stuff is like. Um, it wasn't just due to my streaming, it's actually, like, literally the coughing and all that stuff was due to me having the flu and not even realizing it, so, there's that. Pretty fantastic, but meh. It is what it is. Um, that said, I'm doing okay today. At the very least, fever-wise, I'm totally okay. I just need to, uh, not go too ham. So, as you can see, I am keeping the ham to a minimal. What I am doing today is also playing the uh, World Tier 4, but with minimal damage reduction. So I'm using Raymond of the Infinite, which has no defensive stats and a crappy pair of pants. This is to prepare for the upcoming Temerity changes, which I covered in the patch notes video. I'm actually really excited for that. <coughs> wow, Cheshire, what an insult. <laughs> it's not because I'm old. It's because I'm in a different country with four seasons. I mean, granted, we don't get snow during winter here, but... I am... I lived in Singapore, was streaming in Singapore. So I've never streamed in, like, a wintering country before. So I guess I have to just really take care of a bit more. Wow, Cheshire, rude. <laughs> that, and I'm pretty sure somebody cursed me because I tried to have a birthday week. And uh, I'm 100% I'm convinced one of these YouTubers uh, has a girlfriend that's a witch. Probably cast a curse on me, man. Yeah, y'all might think I'm crazy, but ever since I started all this, right, string of misfortune, you know, my dad with his leg injury, then my mom fell sick, then obviously I got it after. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. Some YouTuber out there be putting some black magic voodoo on me. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna let that keep me down. I will adapt and overcome and enjoy the new opportunities hitting my way as well so they can bring it the fuck on. I will stream even if I'm dying. Mostly because I'd have to make money to pay for my funeral, eh? 
But yeah, no, I, I also can't take too much time off work. Because if I take too much time off streaming, then I'll make no money. And that is unfortunately too harsh on me right now. I was like, nope. I'd love to rest more, but bank account says nope. So, counting on y'all to share my stream. And of course, to uh, hit that like button. And hopefully, we'll have some more Twisted Souls coming in. But for all you sexy early birds, enjoy. Looks easy enough. The one thing I like about Raymond of the Infinite is that although it adjusts your, um, although it does adjust your teleport. Okay, so I will still die in a single shot from the exploders. Hmm. That I think I can't solve. I will just have to, like, literally duck and weave around those. Okay. Keep in mind, this is with no damage reduction stats at all. Like, nil. If you recall, it wasn't an issue on my Necro, but I'm literally uh, choosing to run. Yeah, because I'm literally choosing to run a Sorcerer, which takes the Glass Cannon damage as well. It's obvious that uh, these will kill me, but okay, that's fine. Like, I can deal with that. Because somebody said that they were suffering with the Sorcerer in the World Tier 4 Capstone, so I said, okay. Let's try it with absolutely no damage reduction. And Raymond of the Infinite. Keep in mind that Raymond of the Infinite is pretty bad overall. Without Temerity. And I don't have Temerity. Someday I will. But not today, apparently. Yes, of course. Freezing is of course crowd control, bro. I mean... You lit you're literally stopping them from doing anything, so... That's all CC, man. Yep, so, was slain by Gallic Nightfist, Shadow Enchanted Walla. Hmm, but how did he slay me? I thought it was the explosion. Something is weird. Yeah, of course. If you don't know what counts as crowd control, just a quick Google search. Diablo 4. What counts as crowd control? And then the first article from .esports. 
like literally the first thing that you see on Google will uh, explain to you. So there's a variety of effects that all count as crowd control, but suffice to say, 95% of effects will count as crowd control. Now those damage over time doesn't count as crowd control. Just so you know. You have received a tip. Thanks, Jason, for the tip. I know it's you because you always send that amount. But I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good price. Very nice of you. Nice. It is a deal. Yeah, I'm waiting for a lot of upgrades on my stuff. But I'm also having fun messing around with the uh I'm also having fun messing around with the whoa latency ah Could it be the lag spikes, which is why I'm not seeing certain attacks? Players did mention this as well. It could be they due to that. I'm having 171 latency in town. Holy shit. Yeah. I actually received complaints the past few days that server latency has been so bad. Uh, I didn't think much of it, but yeah, okay. I'm literally, literally freezing and stuff. And whoa, what is this strobing effect? 245. Hmm. Maybe this is why these dudes kept dying and they, like, couldn't do anything about it. Could it be? Okay, let me, let me try. I, I have a feeling that it is almost entirely due to... The crossplay settings. I did hear a significant amount about that. But no worries, I'll adjust. Hello, PDX. Welcome. Sorry, minimal chatting today. I am uh, still very sick. But I'm glad your character is doing well, newbie. Yeah? Okay, um, latency has now gone back to normal, but I'm pretty sure that. Almost everything was like due to the crossplay spiking. Back on the previous topic, if anyone is unsure what counts as crowd control, all status effects other than damage over time are more or less crowd control. Slows, stuns, all of this is crowd control. That's why crowd control is uh, got nerfed in the last patch because it's very easy to trigger um, damage versus crowd control because any effect will do it. Yeah. So, the reason why it does that is because all of it counts as crowd control, dude. So, if you recall, and I went through this in the last patch notes, but I think maybe you didn't hear or you didn't uh, watch that section, but it's fine if you didn't. Basically... The devs noticed that it was so easy for most people to just trigger like damage reduction versus crowd control or uh, sorry uh, it was easy for the for most players to trigger damage versus crowd control because every character has some type of crowd control effect but the specific ones are, are harder to trigger which is why they nerfed damage versus crowd control and they buffed the damage versus the specific types so for example if your primary crowd control is freezing then you damage versus freezing would do higher damage than damage versus crowd control but let's say your character has multiple types of crowd control like freezing slow stun all this kind of thing so like if you had damage versus freezing you would miss out if you stun them but don't freeze them you get what i mean which is why they changed it in that particular way they wanted people to like stop using damage versus crowd control as a catch-all um and previously, because it was on par with, say, damage versus stun, there was no point in going for damage versus stun when you could have damage versus crowd control. So that's what they changed in the last patch, which obviously made players angry because it was 
considered like a monumental nerf um overall not exactly the smartest decision i would say but hey that's how things are done sometimes um okay we've got more vulnerable damage here and damage reduction from vulnerable enemies which i have and i'm gonna get more in the next patch which is correct and which is what i want do i want guarded it would give me more baseline damage reduction <clears throat> maybe i'll pick it up in place of the burning dr i could after all it would literally be three points the question is should i I say I think I think yes. You know what? Let's let's go for it because I think it's just a, a good idea. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Then I'll start by picking up the extras. So that makes sense. Like all all this DR is gonna come in handy. Yep. <coughs> pick this up and see how it feels yep the standard CC affix will be weaker obviously by design They want it that way because, you know, obviously they don't want us to all take the easy way out, but forget it. Most people are still going to take the easy way out. That said, um, for structuring damage this particular season, there are much easier ways to do it. Because for me, what I'm going for mostly is just, um, like, I focus on certain more specific but also general effects. Like in the Paragon board, you want to focus on damage versus uh, vulnerable like you want those reductions because it's really easy to grab then on top of that you probably also want like um your damage reduction versus burning and damage to burning targets is buffed so you really want damage versus burning if you can because you can always inflict burning and burning will work on bosses too which is why it's a much better overall status to have so these are like ways that you can like literally game the system <clears throat> and achieve best results, which is what I've been applying, so, yeah. <clears throat> but for those that checked out my patch notes video, you already know what's coming. You already know what I'm going for. All the good stuff. I'm really looking forward to the next patch. It will boost things quite nicely okay, have I killed everything here <clears throat> not yet there's more to kill but some of these unique changes will be nice Uh, no. As per my patch notes, did you guys watch the patch notes video? If you haven't, I know it's an hour long, but you can go check the sorcerer section and hear my judgment on that. Fire builds are, and you can, well, I mean, you can go play whatever you want, but I'm just going to tell you in advance that fire builds are pretty much going to be trashed here. Because there, there is no way for a DOT build to ever compete with a normal build. Unless, the only reason that Shadow Necros can is because Shadow Necros get so many damage enhancers compared to the Sork that um, they have a much easier time doing everything. And that's something that I think people need to be aware of. Okay, let's see how the Elias fight feels. over 
So yeah. Elias is easy. <clears throat> I bet it's Illuminator Gloves. I knew it. I shall store this. This is useless to me. <clears throat> oh, so useless to me. Sag. Okay, Elias fight done. Yeah, we will see, but I'm just going to tell you right now that it's bad. And again, if you guys want to check out why it's bad, it's in my patch notes video. I explain it all there. Y'all can try. It'll be fine in the early and mid game. It'll be absolute dog shit once you get past level 50. For all the same reasons that they aren't used effectively. Um, and this will also be explained in a separate video that I'll do in the coming days where I'll talk about the fundamental issue with the sorcerer. Which I think a lot of people are unfortunately ignoring for some weird reason, but... Well, maybe that's what they want to do. Because the reason why damage over time doesn't work on the Sorcerer, Barb, a lot of these characters are mostly fundamental issues. They're actually, they're actually nothing to do with the particular skills themselves. Yeah, no, the servers are definitely having a shit fit right now. Mm -hmm. This will have to be adjusted for. Like... Don't forget that Necro has does not have the same fundamental issues because Necro can inflict the vulnerable status and Sever does its own thing. They also have the Shadow Blight passive. And while we have Combustion, Combustion, let's let's be honest here, it's nothing like Shadow Blight. The Shadow Blight passive is far superior to Combustion. The Necros also get a lot more damage reduction as well as basically Howl from below. Which, and their damage over time is large area based from the corpses. And their lucky hits from said damage over time is very high. Uh, if you guys take a look at Corpse Explosion, uh, the enhanced version, um, after you get it, you can take a look at lucky hit. It's actually still pretty decent. <clears throat> but a lot of the fire stuff does not get that. So, yeah, those are all part of the problem. And that's why more or less fire is still going to be trashed here. They did not change. The problem is, is not so much the... Like, because they're, most of their changes were centered around Paragon board. Um, they did not change a lot of fundamental passives. Which, in the long term, is where all the issues are going to come from. The fundamental passives and nothing else. Okay, now we're in World Tier 4. What's going on in the world? No hell tides yet. <coughs> Oh, let's go into the malignant tunnels. I've got time and I want some tier 4 hearts anyway. So let's go get it done. As soon as I get into world tier 4, one of the first things that I always do is... Um... That's right. Uh, capstone. I'm just adding some chapters right now so that uh, anyone who wants to reference the capstone dungeon clear, they can just pop in and do so. Yeah. Thank you to those who've liked and already shared the stream. I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> the only real build that's getting a buff in the patch notes is, well, Ice Shards is getting a buff via the DR, which is really good. But <clears throat> the other thing that will be getting a buff will be the Arc Lash build. But that one's going to be interesting. However, that's if you want to play... A build that's like four defensive skills and unstable currents and arc lash basically you've got two offensive skills not the best choice
and it will still be, technically speaking, less effective than ice, but competitive at level 100. <coughs> Not for leveling, though. Leveling-wise, that will <coughs> remain a low-tier build. But at level 100, Arc Lash will technically be competitive, which is nice. Look at that, 324, mmm, that is so sad. Such a powerful malignant heart, but literally, uh, NG, no good. Now, if only that was Talrasha's. At World Tier 4. I would be very excited over the extra armor. But for now, this is okay. <clears throat> I'm telling you, all I really need right now is for Temerity to finally drop. If Temerity drops, I can try. Although, it's not going to benefit me now. I want to get used to the no DR thing. Not a tall rushes. Okay, that's no good. Come on, revive. Okay, all of the useless hearts will keep popping up. Well, that's okay. The first thing we always do as soon as we get into World Tier 4 is go heart hunting. Because you want to get some of the best. Ah, yes. A lovely 1 million damage. Gotta get myself a new Barber Heart.
I just saw them drop me a vicious invoker. So let's go hunt down some vicious hearts. If the Helltide pops, it's totally gonna kill me, but yeah, that's all part of the fun. The latency in town, though, is wild. That needs to be resolved. I hope that when this patch comes out, they really do buff the stability because, uh, hmm. Hmm. I wonder if anyone else has been having the stability issues. A couple of my palos did complain to me, but yeah. Now that I'm seeing them for myself, I can see why the complaints are coming in. What is this dude doing in the open world? You know, some people have recently commented that, um... The Diablo 4 feels like the world's loneliest MMORPG because there's nobody, but like, every time I encounter somebody, I'm like, can you please just get away from my mobs? Just leave me alone. <laughs> Stop touching my stuff. You know, so at least that's the way that I feel. Previously, before I, uh, I was actually just trying out Raymond of the Infinite. I was doing it as a bit of a joke, but now I'm fighting 11 levels above me with no real DR stats. This is making me question everything. <laughs> and also, this is a very bad idea. Don't actually do this. I'm starting to feel like, at this point, um, total armor and max life might have far more of an impact. Of course, DR is nice, but the fact that I'm actually surviving without it is pretty crazy.
Well, hello there. <laughs> Anything useful? Nope. This is nice, but nope. These boots? Nope. Nope. Are these any good? Hell nope. Darn, still no good choices. Okay. Let's travel back up. A one. <clears throat> Nothing much is up. Just uh, doing my streaming, but with minimal minimum activity you know because I'm still sick but well I can't take forever off work uh, I'm better in terms of the fever so my fever is gone but I'm just keeping my chatting to a minimum that said it does feel good to stream again of damage does feel pretty good though not gonna lie oh, yeah okay all of this crap I'm just gonna dunk it once I go back to town I'll head back to Kyovashad then go dunk all of this I'm searching for some good world tier 4 hearts now for my sorcerer so, today will be mostly about that. That and I'm also deciding to try and push myself hilariously just to see what'll happen. So I'm trying to play with like the minimum amount of damage reduction, like mostly just the Paragon Path stuff. So I'm trying to make sure that that all happens. I don't know how well it'll go. Could go utterly badly, but... Part of the fun. Oh, come on. Phone, please work. Okay. I swear. Sometimes my phone just doesn't want me to read YouTube chat. I mean, granted, there's no new messages coming in other than what Juan just said, but Jesus. Come on, phone work with me. And thank you to everybody who's already liked and shared. As you know, I thank you greatly for that, yeah? Appreciate it tremendously. Okay, let's keep going with the malignant tunnels. We're going to grind these for a little while. Hopefully get some good world tier 4 hearts. Now, I'm going to tell you right now that there was a very odd paralysis kind of situation there. 
This is something that I haven't worked out fully with uh, Raymond of the Infinite. I have noticed that sometimes after the teleport in, I'll be frozen in place. Uh, no, there is one other skin that I want. Just that it's not in store right now, otherwise I would have gotten somebody to sponsor it for me. It's the one that shows off the most boobage for her. But they, it's rotated out of store and I don't know when it's coming back. But I don't know. But once that is back, that is the one that I want. I've been waiting to try and grab it, but uh, it is not there. Yet. But one day it will be again. But I can always wait till next season. It'll come back. Like, they always will put their stuff back in rotation. So it'll come back eventually. Hopefully when I've got more money that I can spend on it. Because I think that's also one of the most expensive skins. They know they know that the boobage will sell. That's why. It's the only skin, like, worth, in my opinion, having. Yeah, it gives her a creepy it gives her a creepy mask, but you can just choose not to wear the headgear. To me that's the pure boobage skin. Uh RC Luck, thank you, but just so you know, we no longer support content for that game. Uh this is due to the devs supporting racism towards the Asian people. So I thank you, but please do not mention anything related to that. Um, game on this channel. Thank you very much. It's because I've got corporate sponsors as well, and I don't want them to be associated with a racist company like Phoenix Labs. Yeah, I know. But please do not mention that game on this channel. Alright. The... Like, I myself do not want my channel associated with a group of racists. So, yeah. And Wise Advice is... Um, you should be careful playing that game as well. It'll give you a very bad rep. Here's the proof. And thank you for enjoying my content, but please never talk about it, yeah? Yeah, no problem at all. A lot of people don't know about it. You can go check the proof there. But for your own sake, like I've I've been telling every one of my viewers, don't don't support Phoenix Labs. There's the, like they they choose partners that openly admit to being racist, especially against the Asian people. And um, yeah, very bad, very bad look overall. Especially because in case you don't know, I'm a partner with Nexon Korea, as well as Deep Silver, Fat Shark AB, and. A lot of these are companies that do make good games, and I'm pretty sure they don't want to be associated with Phoenix Labs. Oh, well, now you know. Um, if you're Filipino, probably even more important. You can take a look at the proof and see for yourself, but yeah. It's basically via their partners that they... Like, when their partner allow, like made these comments, there was no action taken, no apology. So, yeah. You might want to just be careful. But if you're not like corporate sponsor or whatever, you just want to play the game for fun, you can do that if you if you like. But just be aware that that's what that company stands for. So yeah, here we have distance from them. I only keep my old videos up because obviously they're videos I made. I'm owed the ad revenue anyway, so I'm not going to take them down and lose ad revenue for no reason. But uh, by that same token, yeah, we, we no longer associate ourselves with them. Terrible, terrible people. You can look forward to more of the content that I play because I'm sure I'm sure there'll be free to play games as well. For now, mostly I play paid played games, but um, there will be free to play as well in future. I believe Wayfinder is on the way, so there are better choices. Okay, we're done with this tunnel. Back to town. Let's go pick up some brutal hearts in the tunnels. Maybe get ourselves a good world tier 4 revenge heart. Oof.
This is a good tall Rasha's, but... Ah, reduced damage. But increased armor. You know what? I can afford reduced damage for a little while. What do you mean I don't meet the requirement to suck it? Oh my god, the requirement 65, isn't it? Mother trucker. Okay, I'll just have to deal with it. Um, never mind, I guess. Let's pop. Let's uh, get rid of the rest. See you later, Cheshire. Blunt, sinister. That's a deal. Hey, Nightshade, how you doing? Okay, let me go put this stuff away. I'm not gonna take a Kyogasha trip just yet. If you ask me whether Diablo 4 is worth it, my honest answer to you is I would say you should watch my streams, watch a few streams, see whether or not it's the type of game that you think you'll enjoy. For me, of course it's worth it. It's an action RPG. I find it a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy I enjoy what you can do. But um, what I will say is that it does it does have some negative factors about it. And you'll probably discover more about those as you play, but that said, I urge you not to just read reviews and stuff like that, but watch the streams for a while, see if it's something you'll enjoy. Aw, thank you for gifting, gifting a membership, Nightshade, I appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. Well, all of it helps right now. Gotta get them revenue numbers up, yeah? But yeah, one of the whole reasons I came back was like, yep, can't take too much time off, otherwise I make no money. So, now I'm streaming, but like, I'm doing it quiet. Quietude streaming. But I guess in a twisted way, I guess this makes for some chill streaming. Yeah, of course they are. I'll tell you why, it's because they've got contracts with other games. The faster that, the faster that people stop paying attention to Diablo, the easier it is for them to make an excuse to play something else. And of course they're all still playing. They'll say everything's negative, but they'll still play. I told you this right at the start of the season, Coconutter. Everybody, I mentioned it on stream live. Everybody is going to say Diablo shit, Diablo's this, Diablo's that, but they're all gonna still be playing Diablo day one, season one, and pushing for the best builds. Then there'll be the heroes who save everybody. <laughs> and I'm not down with that. I'm gonna keep it 300, I'm gonna keep it real and legit. I gotta take care of my health, but, you know, need money for health. <laughs> so, here I am, my friend, but thank you so much for the gifted membership. Hey, Rana. Of course Robert's still playing, man. The Robert's always gonna be back. Well, when I can. By the way, I've already had to pull out proof today. It's great. But yeah, I urge you to watch the stream, see if you'll enjoy the gameplay. And if you do, then Diablo 4 can be a great game for you. And hello, Coconutter. I hope you're good today. Don't forget to like and share the stream. Alright, guys. I need your help. Alright. Money be tight. Best way you can help me is for free. Just literally like and share the stream. If you like this, if you hit the like button and then you share the stream for me on social media, 
you'll be doing your boy a big favor, all right? That's all I ask. Oh, it'll probably, it'll probably happen every stream for a while because did you know that I'm still number one in the search results even though I haven't made content for that game in about a year? It's nuts. That means like, the content that everybody else is making is so bad that like, no matter what, people still be coming back to me. They're all like, hey man. I'm getting the whole Miles Morales hey thing going on. Hey Snow. Oh yes. Time to get my sorcerer to 70. I'm already in world tier 4, just having fun, chilling out, murdering things slowly, you know how it is. Waiting for a hell tide. But I'm also testing, like right now I'm playing 11 levels above me, right? But I'm I'm using Raymond of the Infinite, which I was using as a joke, right? I'm using Raymond of the Infinite and here's the crazy thing. It's actually doing okay. Like I have no damage reduction stats and I'm taking more damage thanks to Glass Cannon. But my only damage reduction is coming from the Paragon board. Once they buff the once they buff the BR in the Paragon board, I think life is going to get even crazier. Like, I legit can't wait for this upcoming patch. It's gonna be- it's gonna be really good. Like, I'm telling you guys now, alright? It's gonna be really, really good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Bone Necro has always been strong. But now, Blood Necros and Shadow Necros will be even more competitive than they were before. <clears throat> so look forward to that. Like I said, all of that stuff, you can check out my patch notes video. Don't forget to like and share it, if you please. The more of you guys that do that, the better it is for all of us. So if I make more money, well, you know how it is. The more money I make, the more content I can make. I still have not found a single freaking revenge heart. This is wild, guys. This is wild. Triple Claw. I have no idea what a Triple Claw is, but here's a thumbs up. <laughs> hey, listen. If you're enjoying the game or it looks good to you, then definitely consider it. Consider it. it is a deal. I would never turn anyone away from Diablo 4. Like I said, I believe, honestly, that this game has Game of the Year potential. That said, a lot of people are negative about it just because the game is currently... It's finding its way. The developers are trying to find a good balance, and they still haven't gotten everything right, but that's kind of how it happens for most games like this. So what I would say is that, you know, don't let that bother you too much, because there's a lot of good stuff on the way, and of course I'll always be here to create the best builds. For those of you that enjoy the barb, definitely. I'm going to create some interesting stuff for barb, but yeah, the video was hella long. When I, when I made it, I was like, there's no way people are going to watch this crap because it was like, it was legit an hour long to go through all the changes, man. Yeah, go for it. I'm excited to experiment, honestly. Uh, once I finish with Sorcerer and Necro, I'm very excited to experiment. I think it's going to be cool. But Druid is next on my list. We all know that. Druid is my jam. Druid is the way. I'm also really excited for the horse changes. Yeah, I'm honestly eager to experiment with the Druid. I think that there's a lot of potential there. And I think that uh, a lot can be done about it. 
But Sorcerer and Necro first, guys. That, and I really hope that they solve a lot of the stability issues. Yeah, you know it. A lot of people have been feeling that way recently, which is why, you know... I think some creators are not too happy. Let's just say that. I've been compared to other creators a lot lately. It's getting kind of old. But like I said, no matter how much they compare and contrast, it's not going to affect me because I do this because I'm passionate about it. Yeah, I'm not, I don't do this for ego. I'm a mercenary. I do it for the muns. But anyway, playing video games is my job, so it's not like I'm going to get scared off by a bunch of people trying to make me feel bad just because they're like, oh, I'm an imitation of someone else. Like, I'm not an actor, so it's not like I've got some kind of artist pride and all this shit. I'm just here for the paycheck, man. That and to help the people by doing a good job. So, everybody's interests coincide. People want good content, I can deliver good content. But I'm eager to see if anyone can make a good fire build in the uh, after the patch drops. Like, it won't be me because I don't believe in it at all, but I'll wait and see if somebody can because... Who knows, maybe somebody will come up with an interesting idea. That said, fire is missing vulnerable, which again... Is too crucial. So they're probably gonna have to run Frost Nova. And Fire also has another big weakness. It doesn't get the full benefit of Talrasha. Which both the other elements get. Because with both the other elements you can inflict all sorts of damage. Server lags have been bad though. Have you noticed the dropped inputs that are happening constantly? That is no bueno. I'm going to have to be very, very smart about this. I don't care about DR from elites. This one I don't care about, so I'm probably gonna come down through here. Damage to burning enemies and damage reduction from burning enemies. If I need this, I'll take this one as well. Should be alright. And that'll be my next glyph. I still have to work on both these glyphs though. After that though. Should be alright. Should be the keyword. Yeah. There's still a lot of movement room, so I'm okay on that. No, it was the servers. Unfortunately, the servers have been pretty bad um, lately, so that is one of the negative points about this game. The servers were great up until recently, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I have an, I had an idea yesterday, but I think today kind of confirms it. So, you know how Overwatch, the new season for Overwatch is dropping? Blizzard basically shares servers between games. Overwatch servers were terrible when the new season of Diablo was deploying. And now it's kind of doing the opposite because depending on which game is getting an update, right, the Blizzard servers will be terrible while the game that's getting an update gets a boost. So we can probably expect to see um, the servers sort of semi go back to normal once the um, 
Overwatch update is done. This thing, is this thing firing but not, oh my god, that's so irritating. Okay, so another thing you gotta be aware of, or careful of rather, is just that if you are firing off your um, eye shards, right, some of the, some of the creatures, like because their hitbox is weird, this is one of the other irritations I mentioned. Due to the weirdness of their hitbox, they will sometimes not take damage, like you like you saw with that suppressor. It happens mostly with suppressor mobs, um, because of your positioning to um, compared to the suppressor mob. But yes, this is a this is a thing that will happen. So just be aware and careful. Still haven't found a single good item. Rough. Yep, 110 percent, man. Same thing that I used to do in other games, I do here. Because I know that ultimately that's the main difference. I have to test it. If I don't, then I'm giving you guys subpar quality shit. We all know nobody likes subpar quality shit. You always gotta have the best stuff, right? Still bad. <laughs> Jacob, you'll have to wait until the late game video is out. I don't discuss it too often on stream because some people have tried to unfortunately um, post my content as their content before I actually release it. So nice. an updated video will be released once my sorcerer hits level 70. I only ask for your patience because good quality content will take time. Um, that said, what I can tell you straight up is that uh, please do pay attention to the streams because the streams are how you will get the vast majority of your information. If you watch the streams, you'll naturally also be able to see what kind of stats I'm looking out for, things like that, as and when I swap equipment. So it's highly important to pay attention to my streams. But if not, Please wait for the late game video where I will discuss the stats in depth, gear, paragon, all this kind of stuff. But yes, other than that, the best way is to learn from watching streams. Because I don't usually like explicitly do the teaching on stream. Because sometimes people will watch the stream, they'll snipe the content and then they'll release it as their own without any credit. and. Granted, there are other sources of information, but it usually has, pr like, sometimes when they do it, it's very obvious and it creates problems. So I prefer not to do that because uh, it has happened on other games as well before. So nowadays, I just don't discuss it. I just wait until my stuff is ready. Then I publish and release it. That way, my people also get the correct idea. However, as I mentioned, you know, you will probably be able to learn also just from checking out streams. I didn't in full detail though. So I only did the basic stuff in the first one, Brian. The the full detail version usually comes in the late game video. Because in the early game video, um, I only discussed the basics. So yeah. I think what he's looking for is like the full what are the four stats. Because once you get to World Tier 4, you're you're perfectly you're basically searching for the god roll. So I think that's what he's referring to. Which is okay. Like I said, it always comes in the late game videos. You can, like, my Necro late game video does already discuss that for the Necro. So, yeah. All I ask for is patience. It will come. Yep. Shouldn't be too long, though. I'll level pretty quickly, so maybe about one or two more days. And then I should be able to do the bit.
the basics should work in general. Once you're world tier 4, you also want to start searching for god rolls. So, yeah, just keep an eye on things, guys. Because it's not that you need the god roll stats for world tier 4, it's that you're searching for them. Like me right now. Searching hardcore for freaking Talrashas. And yet all they give me is this crap. Tempting fate. Tempting fate. Pigana. Like yo. I swear. They just don't want me to get a good Talrashas. But that's why as soon as you enter world tier 4, right? Malignant hard hunting is so important. I always go on my hard hunt as soon as I hit a world tier 4. Oh, I'm only doing this because of Barbara Heart, bro. Barbara Heart will basically and keep you settled. Once you have the Barber Heart, you don't have to worry. So, you know what? Let's just chuck this in. I want the higher armor anyway. I'll wait till I actually receive a better version. But I'm not going to stop till I receive a better version of Tal Rasha. I want a World Tier 4 Tal Rasha with at least 10% minimum. So we, we don't stop the grind until we get there. Because you can get World Tier 4 hearts early. Especially once you buff your season with like smoldering blessings and whatnot. So this is what I'm gonna spend my time doing. For now. Oh hey, there's a better Tal Rasha already. 9.5 with 300 armor. I'll take that. I'll take that. This is an ideal compared to this, but it still requires a 65 for me to use. Which is coming soon, so that's okay. I'll try and I'll still try and get one better. I now need my revenge heart, so I'll keep doing the brutals and the vicious ones. Then I'll probably make some more invokers. Malignant heart farming is the lifeblood. Okay, Helltide is also out. That's a good idea. So guys, shall I go do a Helltide where the enemies are 14 levels above me? Of course I should. Why? Because that's a very bad idea. And bad ideas are fun. You, uh, you should not have a mana problem, dude. You should not have a mana problem. Because the mana problem is resolved by your skill build. Yeah, no. That, that means that um, you are not following the equipment. If you have a wand... Plus, your skill build is following exactly my sorcerer build from the early game. If you did not follow exactly or if you changed anything, you will have mana problems. You should not have a mana problem in any situation because your blizzard, you need to be very aware. Like, if you take a look at, it's not, your affixes will not solve, your affixes and equipment will not solve mana issues, dude. Your legendary aspects will not solve mana issues also. Your mana all comes from frigid breeze all right so you need to be you need to be triggering frigid breeze as well as your avalanche key passive you need to follow this build exactly bro and the early game build is all released already you need to follow that you should have zero mana problems nobody ever has mana problems exactly exactly what brian says so if you follow exactly you you will have zero mana problems and the mana problem issue is not solved by gear. Gear is for increasing damage. None of my mana comes from gear. Zero. I don't have a single mana aspect on in my gear as well. None. Because you don't need it. Oh shit! This is what happens with no DR. LOL! Okay. Let's let's see how long I can last actually. I, I did want to test this. This is going to be fun.
Oh, DCT. Um, I will check it out if I'm sponsored to play it or if it's a new release. Are you sure you're not talking about Wayfinder? Because I've never heard of Warlander, but yeah. If I'm ever paid to play something, I'll play it. But I have literally never heard of Warlander. Yeah, that's why you should definitely watch streams because if you watch streams, you'll basically see how I handle every single fight. Watching streams is the most important thing, guys. A lot of people just don't attend streams or they think that, oh, I don't need to spend time watching streams, but no. If you really want to do well in this game, I can guarantee you that, hey, Boog, you're very late. You disappoint me. You're supposed to be here 10 minutes before stream starts and you're supposed to be the first one here, bro. Now, go share my stream 10 times or I'll kill you. Anyway, just joking. Um, the most important thing that people often never do is genuinely they don't watch streams. They all think that it's okay, you know, it's just a stream or all streams are the same, you know. Or they say if I'm watching somebody else then it's okay, I don't need to watch robot. But if you really want to learn the robot way of doing things, watch the streams. As you can see, even without casting anything else, I never have a mana problem. And it's all from skill build. Even when you actually see the late game build for this, even when you see the Paragon board, none of it, none of it relates to mana. Dear sweet god, those rogues were literally the worst that I've ever seen. <sighs> My dear sweet viewers, please don't be like these rogues, yeah? It's okay, it's okay to not be great at video games, but... Mm. If you're gonna try and play a build like twisting blades and you're not annihilating everything instantly at level 80 yeah you're doing it wrong so either wait for a full-on robot build or try not to play that shit yes please smash the like button please do support as much as you can 
The more you all support, the more I can do. Remember that. I'll happily make you guys all the content in the world, but can't do it without your support. Ooh, that poison. You're not gonna kill me with that, are you? Oh, hey, this is actually better. Damage reduction from burning enemies, close enemies, frost skill, max life. Mm. All the good stuff. I'm gonna miss the damage, but, uh,. This is definitely a good idea. I'll just make two sockets in it. Yeah, but you see, that's the thing, dude. I've never even heard of it. So, if I've never heard of it, I would only play it if I was paid to play. Uh, I have my own build wiki that you can check out on my channel. My build is just a strong fundamental build. I do not use anyone else's builds. I make my own. It's on my channel, check it out if you want. But yeah, as for Warlander, um, sounds interesting, but I've heard zero news about it and I usually don't play a game that has zero news. Because ultimately, as a content creator, I gotta make money, so I only trust and play games that uh, have a lot of news coverage or you know like people have been talking about them or the devs personally hire me to be an influencer for their game yeah that'll happen but if not then I usually don't touch most games because my time is very limited as it is so I'll check out Warlander if somebody like pays me for my hours or if I'm sponsored but obviously uh, no news about it means I will not play it yeah, no problem, Wiki. Have fun. You'll see the difference in robot quality builds after you play them. Yep. Streams are for asking questions and learning. They should add an item magnet to the seeds. Yeah, I agree that. And Jason, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for that dono earlier, by the way. I mean, I know, I know you didn't put your name in it, but I know it was you. <laughs> Helltide world boss. Yes, thank you, Grim. I probably won't take on the world boss right now, but I'm just going to Helltide around for a bit. Um, to be fair, I'm surprised that I'm even surviving here. Considering I'm underleveled, I have literally no... <laughs> I've got no damage reduction in this build. And an extra rank of glass cannon. Why? Because it's hilarious. Well, you know what? This is fun. I am actually, like, contrary to what some may think, I'm actually genuinely having fun. This is a challenge. To be fair, it's the only way I could, you know make things a challenge for this sorcerer build but hey that's part of the fun yeah exactly so like if somebody wanted me to play warlander just tell the devs look if you if you really want to see me on warlander or whatever just tell the devs here's a really great streamer pay him literally you can send an email it's like people don't realize this but if you ever want a content creator to play something don't ask the content creator to play it send an email to the company ask them to sponsor if they sponsor, I'll play anything because as long as they as long as they can pay my hourly rate, they can get coverage for any game they want. Yes, I am, Mike. 
not a hundred percent, but you know, I'm semi back. Then again, I mean, you know, you know, you know how it is. I need that money. Oh God. Is this guy for real? You just, did you see that crappy poison trap rogue trying to act like, oh, no, 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 not happening. Not happening. You. That's right. You can't stop me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't stop champ. Alright. My mystery chest, there it is. Easy breezy. I ain't losing my cinders. But yeah, basically, if I didn't do all this uh, streaming now, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have like no money, so I was like, I better freaking work, yeah? <laughs> Knowledge is indeed power. When you know your stuff, you'll always do well. If you don't know your stuff, you'll probably have a rough time. That said, the reason why I'm playing with like all this additional ranks of glass cannon and all that other shit is just because I think it's funny. I think it's just amusing to play with that kind of, uh, play with that kind of like downside. And it is, in my opinion, hilarious. I'm going to rewrite this, uh, damage close. Let me first, uh, sockets. I'll put one gem in there. Now we're gonna alter this around a little bit. So we're gonna change this out. And we're gonna try and get, uh,. Gonna try and get something better, if we can. Let's see if anything will be good. Hmm, 3.6 DR, just straight up DR. Hmm, could be worth, could be worth. But no, I'll, I'll keep it as close first. <laughs> Let's see how I feel without the firepower. I mean, a Raymond of the Infinite was nice, but um, I'm gonna be very real. It's time for an upgrade. Okay. Let's fully pump up. Oh, whoa, these pants are really good. Okay. Well then, these pantaloons are gone. Uh, the life regen, I'll try and swap it out for max life, if I can. I missed you too, Mike. It's good to see you again. Well, we shall see then. I look forward to that, RC. Um, I feel that right now, what they have for this season is okay. Aw, thank you, Jason. You have received a tip. I cannot do anything special right now because I'm still recovering, but thank you so much. Um, I guess that makes you top tipper now. Let's add you that. Da -da 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 But yeah, I feel that the seasonal stuff is good enough, honestly. For now, what I'm personally seeing is that the seasonal stuff is doing well enough. And I don't foresee any other difficulties involved in that for the time being. That said, there are still major concerns that I think we all need to be aware of. Um, okay, sorry. Let's try and get max life on this if we can. Armor. 
change. Change. Max life, yes. Perfect. Now we've got perfect pants. Until I get temerity anyway. Hang on, you're up early. Be working. Ah, uh, thank you, Mike, as well. I appreciate that. Uh, it's monthly, so Zane Zane was like insane for uh, July. But, I mean, he's also in, like, so many other lists, so. But I made it monthly so that other people can come in if they if they want to. There we go. Always ready to add, add Mike in. Yeah, there we go. I'm sure Zane will claim his throne at some point. Um, Alright, let me just enchant well, the... Let's have a look. It actually cost me less to enchant all this, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, please give me... Do I not have any armor-based DR? No, I don't. Shit. Mm, give me one second. I'm just going to get my armor stuff. <laughs> you hear Duel of the Fates. Lamau. Okay, wait. First, let's get rid of this and this. Rain of the Infinite, I'll put there, and I'll upgrade these pants to max. Now... The race is on. Well, I appreciate you, Mike, man. It's good to see you. And I appreciate it tremendously. There's no way I wouldn't. Uh, okay, let me chuck this in. This I do not care about. I'll just toss it out. Mm, I'm sure I have one armor based skill somewhere. Come on, I have to have one. There has to be one. Sorry, guys, give me a moment. I must. I'm sure I have one somewhere. It's gotta be one. There. There, this will do. This will do temporarily until I find another. Although actually, wait. Let's do another. Let's do a separate kind of test. I'm I'm kind of interested now. I'm gonna extract this aspect. Oh, actually, wait. You know what? No, let's not do the separate test. Mm. Or should we? I'm so tempted. Ah, let's do it. First, I'll use this right to basically have damage reduction instead of armor then come back soon bear with me guys I'm doing some nerdy things I'm gonna junk these okay now I'm going to make some royal rubies let's make two of them Bing. and use them right Let's chuck them in. Good. So now I've got a shit ton of life now. <laughs> okay, let's junk all these, right? Now we're gonna sell all my crap and go back to the Helltide. I'll try and find one more chest. Where's my consumables? Drink. Oh, shit, did I sell my consumable? Get that, get that back out. Okay, that was very intelligent of me, guys. I sold my consumable. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the super chats and everything. It's genuinely helpful um, during this time when I'm not able to be at my full capacity. Uh, just know that I sincerely appreciate you guys doing that for me. Uh, I have no other words other than thank you so, so, so much. Okay, now let me see whether this will work. This could work, or it could go badly. Um, I, uh, I, well, I doubt it will go badly, but... Well, let's try it. World boss in 14 minutes, too. Which would be good. I can't wait. 
I love you too, Mike. I appreciate that. It's good to be back. But I don't know if I'll go to World Boss, because... I don't know. Will I gimp people if I go? I'll think about it. I would like to, that's for sure. Oh, we'll see. I don't want to gimp people. Okay, I hope you had a good sleep, honey. Using text-to-speech because I'm, you know, working. <laughs> Love you, and I will hopefully see you later as well. Can't wait to enjoy time with you today. I like sending text-to-speech messages so sometimes. All right, let's rock on. So I'm about to go up a level and hopefully I can trigger some more DR here. I just want to see how insane I can turn this DR. Should be quite good though. Woo, that's insane. But the downside is that I lose like my offensive powers. I do have to admit that it does suck a little bit. I mean, I don't really need the pull in because whatever I would have pulled in anyway would be covered by Frost Nova. It's just that I have to use both in tandem. I mean, it works though. So yeah, playing without DR is probably weird. Like, I think I may not use Raymond of the Infinite because it's got great stats, but it's offensively based and... Uh, yeah. Unless Temerity, like if and when I get a Temerity, because I really want to test it, especially after the upcoming patch, where Temerity is going to be basically the be-all and end-all. Uh, in case you guys haven't taken a look at the patch notes video, I suggest you watch the general section, because Temerity is going to be insane. Like, you'd literally be able to trigger Conceited Aspect on any character. So it opens up a lot of interesting pathways for you. Just do take note of that. Temerity is going to be very, very awesome. So do not sleep on it. Ah, no problem. Like I said, the game if the game launched uh, this year, that's also cool. But like I said, I've been around this industry for a long time and I haven't heard anything about it. So it may not be a big enough game because... For me to make money right, there must be enough viewers to be willing to watch streams and stuff. So yeah, I usually don't take chances on indie companies. Just just no offense, I'm just letting you know. I usually don't take chances on indie games or new releases unless the developers pay me for my time. So we'll see. If they do, if they do end up like hiring me, that's no problem. I'm always willing to do all sorts of content. But there's a lot of other good stuff coming this year that I'm already, like, a partner for as well. So just be aware of that. There's some that I cannot reveal yet, but I can certainly say that First Descendant has already got me on board. Um, those in my Discord already know my next partnership coming up as well. That one's very, very exciting because I know that's going to be a huge game um, based on how many fans it has right now. So that I'm very excited about. And, uh, yeah, I'm just honestly looking forward to a lot of the stuff that's coming. It's gonna be a good year.
Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I haven't even upgraded my wand yet. I'm just looking for perfect stats. Hmm. This doesn't come with movement speed, but it comes with a lot of DR. What is this Hoa Frost passive? Is it this? Oh, that's Snap Freeze. Oh, it could increase that. That's pretty nice. But I don't really need that passive. I'd rather have cooldown reduction. I'm going to try and roll CDR on this. I can always stuff the Barber Heart in here. I'm going to try and roll CDR on this. This is a really good, this is a really good ammo. Hmm. Oh, my mana management. It's the build itself that just handles all the mana management. I don't have to even worry about mana. Um, I haven't gotten a better barber yet, no. I will, after this Helltide, go around seeking a potentially better barber. But I already have the best barber for my hair, at least. <laughs> By the way, I hope you're doing good, Mo. Don't forget to like and share the stream, guys. The more people that we can get into the stream, the better. If I can make more money, I can do more content. That's how the survival goes for us independents. Um, I do not open my Discord, sorry. My Discord is actually only for my top supporters. So there's in people who have like, you know, donated the most or they're the biggest members, sponsors. The reason why we do this RC is because back when I was playing that game that you discovered me on, um, a lot of those racists came to my Discord to troll, so we moved from an open Discord model to an exclusive Discord model. So now only my top, top supporters get into my Discord. Uh, I do apologize for that, but it keeps us safe, and it also um, basically makes sure that the people who do get in are the most trustworthy people. And that way I can also share a lot of interesting info with them about my life, you know, upcoming partnerships, things like that. So, I hope you can understand. If in future you end up as a top supporter of my channel, you know, I always see your face or you're one of my biggest supporters and stuff like that, then definitely you'll find your way in. Um, we do invite people as well, but usually it takes a lot to build up trust because, like I mentioned, we've been trolled a lot by the people from that other game and uh, mm, we tend to keep ourselves safe nowadays. Honestly, though, it's actually been a lot better for me because unlike the open Discord, it has resulted in more opportunities because companies know that they can trust me and that I won't go telling everything to and their grandmother to my people just for clicks. <laughs> so that's been a huge help as well, honest to God. I'm just going to set all of this as junk. I really don't need this. How much longer? Six minutes. <laughs> mm. I would say that if you're feeling like you can't play without minions, that is more of a problem of the playstyle. It means that you're not watching my streams and observing enough because you should never need minions. Being without minions should feel better, not worse, because not only do you get the extra damage reduction, you should be walking around feeling like a badass. So yeah, I would probably suggest, Mo, that you watch some of the older Necro streams, alright? See if uh, you can absorb the playstyle from there. Also watch the late game video, take a look at what stats I'm looking for and stuff like that, because that's already been discussed in that video. That'll, that'll tell you what to look out for, because maybe you're not getting enough damage reduction, so you feel like you need your minions, but... You should never need your minions. You should never feel like they're even a part of your arsenal. They're just there in the early and mid game, but once you're past that, minions are so relevant that, like, you, li you should literally just ignore them. Like, their very existence is irrelevant to you and should remain irrelevant to you. So just make sure you're learning enough from the streams. Yeah, that's kind of the issue. You should never die, ever. 
If you're dying in World Tier 2, it means that there's something fundamentally wrong with your build. Either you you didn't follow exactly what the... Uh, you didn't... Like, have you done your Renown and Altars of Lilith? Because if you didn't do any of that either, you need to go and do all that. All of this is crucial, by the way. You must do everything. Like, if you did not finish all your Renown, focus on finishing that first. Along the way, you might also get better gear, but you really need to have all your bonuses, everything. Because I remember... Now I remember, Mo, you're, you're still new. You haven't... You were just doing your campaign, right? Mm. So, you're not supposed to be starting another alt. Do all your alts as a Lilith. Get all your Renown done. It's a chore, but you need all that stuff. And you will feel a good difference once all that is done. At the very least, you're going to need all your bonus skill points. And you're going to need to have the exact skill build. Yeah. You need all altars done. Go finish that. Your Renown, you need at least the first three, le three levels. So you have your full build. Because if you're sacrificing some passives here, some passives there, it, that's that's not the way. You know, I'm just saying. Um, you need everything online on board. People underestimate the importance of Renown, Altus of Lilith. Get those done because they are very crucial to your early game stats. You absolutely should. <laughs> Mana management is nothing to do with aspects. I actually told that to somebody else. Um, you will have to wait till the late game video is out for in-depth discussion. Because again, to protect my knowledge and, you know, stop people from stealing my shit, I wait until I publish a video. But, what I can say is that mana management is nothing to do with aspects. I gain zero mana from aspects. And you'll actually see that once I showcase that, but... All of my mana management is entirely skill build based. None of it, zero, comes from aspects. Your mana all comes from this. If you're the same level as me and doing badly, your mana management all comes from this. Take a look, it's a lucky hit, right? You need to make sure you're enhancing that, bro. As long as you're enhancing that, you won't have a problem. But if you're not properly enhancing your lucky hits, then you are going to have a problem, you know? So that, I would say, is uh, one of the things you got to be very aware about. Try to ensure that you genuinely do take into account... Um... Oh, shit. Where is it? It's there, isn't it? Try to ensure that you do properly take what you need into account, especially when using your skills, because a lot of people go in without properly understanding that it is a lucky hit. And because it is a lucky hit, your Paragon, all of that kind of stuff needs to be geared toward it. If you don't, you can have a bad time. Yeah, so you should have no trouble with mana management, dude. Because none of my mana comes from aspects. I don't use a single mana-based aspect, ever. The mana base aspects are basically taking away offensive power, which you don't want. You want pure offensive power all the time. Yeah, as and when, man. Like, it's honestly, you know, take your time with that. Take care of yourself first, RC. For me, support is more. Just make sure you're here all the time. As long as you're always at the streams, that's major support. But, of course, getting, getting into the Discord that way takes a very long time. I only bring in people, like I said, that I know that I trust. Again, it's for safety reasons. We just want to avoid getting trolled by people... Like, some people that we've even led into the Discord, even after they've, like, shown to be big supporters, have sort of turned on us or, you know, they've uh, gone down a bad path. So, for that, for my own sake and safety, um, now we're very selective about who comes in. 
Uh, I will be showing the Paragon in the late game up to level 70, yes, but... End game will be a separate video as well at level 90. The reason why I update in stages is so that you guys get detailed explanations. If I just if I just give you guys like some crappy update without putting in any details, then that's no good for you and that's also no good for me. Oh man, the lag is crazy. Remember that when it comes to so-called mana management, a lot of the mana management that you guys need to be aware of is mostly related to are you correctly casting Blizzard? Are you correctly casting the stuff that you need to cast? Wow, this world boss is unbelievably laggy. What is this? This is ridiculous. I find that a vast majority of the time, players who do badly in terms of mana management aren't using their skills effectively or they're not clear on how the build is supposed to work. So one thing which I'll tell you, Wiki, is make sure you're always at my streams 24-7. People think that, oh, it's because he wants viewers at his streams. No. Best way to learn Diablo is not by just watching a video or not by just copying a build. Because copying, yeah, sure, you'll get the base stuff, but do you know how to play it properly? You need to observe how the streamer plays the build, how the streamer unleashes everything. Because how I'm structuring my skills and deploying them in turn is basically how I'm succeeding in mana management. And that is a crucial part of the whole process. If you know the process, you always you always get it right. If the process is wrong to begin with, then you know see even in a laggy situation where I theoretically should not be doing well, we're able to do okay. Surprisingly did not die, even though the game it was so laggy that like you know, I was barely able to do anything. Like, all of this is possible if you properly know the playstyle. Hey, Lai. Good to see you. But yes, um, honest to God, guys, please. I, I don't say this, I don't say this, like, out of greed or a desire for cash or something silly like that. Um, I genuinely say this with you guys' interest at heart. Um, please, turn up to streams. Turn up to streams, like and share the content. The more viewers I get, the more content I can make. But also, come to the stream so that you guys can observe what I do. Because being able to observe what I do, see, you know, with your own two eyes, it's a drastic difference. It is a very drastic difference. No problem, Mo. Thank you so much for super chatting. I really appreciate it. And hey, since it's the early times of the month, right, it's very easy to get into the top super chatter list. So, Mo's going in there now. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Would not be able to do all this awesome stuff without you guys, yeah? Okay, um, since I really don't need any of this stuff, let me do this in two ways. First, I'm going to get rid of all this crap. Because I need money for this awesome amulet. I sell this first. Enjoy the swamp. Then, get rid of all that. And we junk these because, you know, stats. Open up the grand cache. Grab all this. For late game, yes. So, I do my build videos in stages. Each stage will basically help you guys understand what to do at that point in time. <laughs> Which is why I do it in stages because early and mid game is one stage by itself. Late game is another stage. That's when you're gearing up for World Tier 4 and the hardest content. End game is the final stage where, like, you're basically trying to do something to make yourself the absolute top tier. So that's why these, these three crucial stages are very important, and I structure my videos according to these three stages.
And like I said, knowing the stuff is really good, but what you guys must do most importantly is watch the streams. You really want to see the stuff in action. Watch the streams, observe. Don't just watch and then, you know, I, I know it's, it's great entertainment as well, but observe what I'm doing. You see with the sorcerer, I teleport in first, usually. I'll start taking out, obviously, the uh, damage reducers. But I'm always, always, all right, engaging in combat. And what am I doing? I'm firing off my ice shards, all right? And my mana never dips, why? Because I'm using my skills in a certain way to ensure that I'm always getting the free casts, all right, from the avalanche key passives. That is what I'm always doing, and that's why it's so easy to manage my mana well. And if you have enough stats stacked so that you deal good damage, you shouldn't be spamming to the point that you run out of mana. Alright? But don't forget, I also have all my Renown bonuses, all my Altar bonuses, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you have all that. This is why a lot of- some people, right, they've, they've made comments where you don't need the, the Renown bonuses. Yes, you do. You want to be performing at- like, if you want to be performing well at this stage, I'm sorry, you're going to need all your bonuses because where where is all your stuff going to come from? From the bonuses. Alright, if you don't follow the builds exactly, or you modify them, like, you will do worse. There, you cannot do better than what the build is, because when I make an efficient build, why is it efficient? Because it's got the best stuff. There should be no inefficiency in the build that would command a different skill, otherwise I myself would use it. That is what, that is what it means to be efficient. Whatever combination of stuff that I have must be so ideal that it cannot result in any changes. Well, thankfully I never lie, hey. I was I'd end up like all the other people out there. But yeah, no. Um, I just like... Teaching people, sometimes it's not easy to do it in a video. Because there's already so much information in a video that most of y'all... Like, look. Let's, let's all be honest here. I know how many people only watch like 5 or 6 minutes of a video. YouTube shows me all that stats. I can literally see that most people do not watch the full 30 minutes of a video. And certainly they don't watch it multiple times. But ideally, when you watch my build videos, you shouldn't just copy what's in the planner. You really want to get to know the stuff in the build videos, right? You watch the build videos, you should actually watch the full video three or four times. Yes, they're very long. But by watching it more than once, you absorb the information. That's why the build video shouldn't just be a one and done. Most people treat them like that. Look, I know you guys do. Okay, I, the stats are all available to me, it's no secret. I know what you guys do, okay? And I get it. I get it. It's like kind of like being in a classroom. Being in a classroom is boring compared to PE. Playing the game is like PE. Watching the build videos and stuff, that's like boring classroom shit. Maybe maybe out of like maybe 10,000 viewers, five will actually watch the video the whole way through. Okay? That's, that's just me being honest. But the thing is that that is not possible because if you, if you only do that right, I'm going to tell you now, it will most likely result in only half-baked knowledge and understanding. And if you don't thoroughly observe the skills yourself and why they're used in certain situations, you won't understand the build at all. Teleport, take teleport for example. Teleport reduces damage by 30%, but everybody forgets about this. Um, it's good if you want to focus on damage, but I, I have it and I just dropped it DS. But what I would say is that don't ask whether a unique is good. Rather, ask if I'm going to use it in my build or not. Or, it, or when you take a look at the late game videos and the end game videos, see if I recommend any uniques. Because if I don't, it's because they are not useful for that build. And I can certainly tell you that Raymond is fun, but it's a lot weaker than what you would get, more or less. So that's just me being very honest with you. Ah, finally my Talrashas is ready. 10.5, baby. It's 9.5, I'll save. Still no good revenge heart. Sad. But yeah, Raymond here is nice, but um, although it adds a stun to your teleport, um, realistically speaking, it only gives you offensive stats, and you already have a lot of that from your other gear, so you should not be using Raymond. 
um, I, I don't find the pull-in useful because your freeze's AoE is much larger anyway. So yeah. Yep. A lot of people I actually knew through, well, the game that you found me on. Uh, so although we don't talk about that game, a lot of my supporters are actually still from that game. So, I do, I do really enjoy um, what I do and, you know, sharing the good knowledge with people. But that's why it's also very important to observe and understand, like, like, uh, coming back to that point, right, teleport is so interesting because a lot of people, you, you, you see a lot of people not using it very often. But teleport is literally on a 7.8 second cooldown, okay? You can get it even lower with good cooldown reduction stats, okay? You can reduce it to a 4 second cooldown simply by teleporting and hitting 3 enemies. Step 1. But step 2 is that it reduces damage for 30 by 30% 30 for 3 seconds. I hope that they buff that back to the 5 seconds it was in the in future, but... I'm telling you, most people sleep on teleport, but teleport should be a consistent spam in between your normal your normal routine. Why? Because it's so freaking powerful. It's just absolutely powerful. And you can use that to your advantage consistently. And that's something, again, many people never think about or they never really um, consider. And, you know, all I can say is make sure you do consider it. Make sure you think about it because it is going to be one of the most important things that you have to use in your arsenal. It is one of the strongest things that you have in your arsenal. You can absolutely decimate your enemies with strong use of teleport by ensuring that they can't touch you. Think about it. 30% DR plus all the damage reduction that you already have. You're practically the same as a barbarian using challenging shout. People say like, oh, well, Sorcerer's a glass cannon. What glass cannon are you talking about? How can you be a glass cannon when you have as much damage reduction as a barbarian screaming challenging shout on a four second cooldown? You really think that that's going to be a problem? No. But yeah. That, but this is based on the fact that you do have damage reductions where they're needed. In okay, case, so, um, that's something else to consider. Not everybody has all the DR that they need. I myself am still searching for perfect um, damage reduction on my chest piece, things like that. I want perfect stats. I need my, I need my god rolls, but my god rolls haven't dropped yet. So I'm still searching for them because I'm only just in World Tier 4. So what am I doing in World Tier 4? First things first, get your hearts all up to the best possible. Okay, don't waste time. Now, Barber, unfortunately, is a sacrifice. You're going to have to deal with a World Tier 3 Barber if you have one until you get a World Tier 4 Barber. But it's something you can do in between your Nightmare Dungeons. So I would say don't sweat it. You'll, you'll get one eventually. But usually, in the early stages up to about level 67, I actually almost exclusively do Malignant Heart Farming, at least until two of these the non the non wrathful ones are ideal ideal stats Mal don't sleep on the malignant hearts this season their armor that they provide is huge for you and it is very important if you don't have that you will have a bad time and thank you to everybody for liking and sharing the stream i'm already seeing more and more viewers coming in this is the power of liking and sharing the stream the more y'all guys do it, the more I can get viewers in, the more I can talk to viewers, the more I can show them the robot, and hopefully more of them will stay. Alright, the more the more viewership we have, the more content we can make. Because obviously more money means more content. <laughs> but yes, um best way to learn things, observe the streams. No, I don't use Twitch. I am purely a YouTuber. I do have a Twitch, but I no longer use it. I only sometimes stream there for drops. For Twitch drops. But YouTube pays a lot better money and is a lot better as a platform. I very much prefer YouTube. Because YouTube is way better. Honestly, for 95% of... Twitch is very bad. 
for people who want to be discovered. Like for new streamers and stuff, un I always recommend YouTube to be honest. YouTube is way better. But a lot of people don't know how to make content, so that's why they don't use YouTube. I do because content comes easy for me. Like I understand how to make videos, I understand how to teach people. So for me, YouTube is the best choice. Better money, they pay- they, YouTube pays way more by the way than Twitch. Even if you're not famous. YouTube pays way more and obviously has just a lot better, um, honestly it just has a lot better stuff. So I love YouTube. The only time I bother with Twitch is drops, that's it. Twitch pays its streamers so badly that they're all moving to that kick place. And I don't blame them, Twitch is a horrible horrible fucking platform. It's only good for the viewers, like Twitch makes their workforce, honestly treats their workforce which is streamers like slaves and they also promote, basically they know what gets the views. They promote all the OnlyFans creators, they promote all the uh, porn creators. So like Amaranth reigned at the top because why she has an OnlyFans and all her simps make her streams the best. They boost her streams by using all of Twitch's systems, they fund all that stuff. But her take-home pay was a lot lower than what she was actually getting because a lot of people were spending just to make her make her one of the top streamers. YouTube, I don't need to worry about that. You know, YouTube is fair. YouTube is the fairest platform out there. It's like if your shit is good, people will discover you. If your shit is bad, nobody's gonna know you. Because there's been a lot of there's been a lot of people out there who make Diablo content or who claim that their builds are good. You know that they actually have to buy views? I know because several advertising companies have contacted me saying, Hey, we know you make Diablo content. Will you be willing to do ads for other Diablo content? I'm like, no. Why the fuck would I do that? And I, and and you know, the content that they showed me is all build videos that are literally trash. They're like those 8-minute build videos that get you killed in a couple of seconds. These content creators, they can't make it on their own. They know it. And that's why, that's why they try to stop my channel. A lot of my streams get false flagged as well, it's just so that I don't make the ad revenue, but I just appeal it straight to YouTube. It gets resolved in about two, well, not two, three days, depends. Two, three business days, they usually resolve it, and then after that I get my money back, so, yeah. Yeah, Twitch is generally a bad idea. I'm not fond of it. Okay, let's put this in first. This is my first good revenge heart. Yeah, Kick does have some good contracts. I wouldn't mind going to Kick if they can meet my rate. 30 bucks per hour. Alright, I'll stream on Kick. No problem. Because I'll still make videos and stuff on YouTube, no, no problem, but I can just move my streaming division to Kick. Easy, but they have to pay my rate. So I'm not expensive if Kick wants to win me over, but uh, yeah. Unless unless it's a paid contract for my hours, I would never switch to another platform. Because there's just no point. Like, I would just make more money just being on YouTube. Thanks for subscribing, DS. Welcome. Welcome to the real family. Okay, let's keep going with this, because uh, how many invokers do I have? I've got some devious invokers. Forget it. Let's go in there. I'll go in and try to whoop some butt. Then I can head back to Kyovashad, get rid of these older hearts. Uh, then I'll go to... The Helltide has risen. The Helltide's over, man. Yeah, I, I just like YouTube's algorithm because it recommends content to the right people. It sends it sends the right people to the right places. And um, at first I wasn't a believer because obviously when I first started out with my channel, I, I wasn't getting much viewership or traction. But I've realized over time that, you know, a lot of people, they make content for years and months and what are this and all that kind of stuff, but they never get anywhere. Why is that? 
I'll tell you the honest answer. It's because they don't make good content and they don't make content that people want to watch. That's kind of the big issue. And I've seen that hundreds upon thousands of times. Um, in fact, some people's content is so bad that if you were to put their like channel name into the search results, you would not actually be able to find them. Did you know that? There are some people who are so bad at this that this is this is the reality of their existence. And no matter how much money they spend or no matter how much they try to drive a viewership of their content, the viewership dies out and dries out within days because these people, they, they don't make content that people want to watch. And YouTube is fair in that. If you don't make content that people want to watch or you are not, like for example, my content is longer than everybody else's. Haven't you? My build video is like half an hour long. Technically speaking, if those 10 minute build videos taught people anything, right? And if those people weren't buying their views out the wazoo, okay, then my 30 minute videos should basically have zero views because nobody would watch them since they um, have no relevance, right? But some my, my build videos at 30 minutes with with more than more than just start and finish ads slotted in because obviously longer videos youtube will automatically put more ads on it but my videos have like good viewship on their on the build ones at least that means people are actually enjoying that style of content creation because i have something that people want to watch if you make your content legitimate and you genuinely build a trust with your audience it's very easy to get good numbers and that's the difference between the YouTubers that do succeed and those that don't. Once I realized this, I stuck to just being legit. I don't care about other streamers or content creators. I don't do follow for follow. I don't do. I don't even do collabs unless I was paid to do a collab. Like if a streamer wanted to collab with me, sure. But you pay my hourly rate, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like advertise you or anything. But I'll do a collab if you if you if I'm paid for the time that I'm on. You know. You pay me enough, I'll do a collab with you. But other than that, and I will tell my viewers openly, this is a paid collab um, because you know this person wants to work with the robot, you know, and, and I'll do that. But other than that, I, I don't find myself needing to associate with other streamers to get raids or hosts or anything. I don't care about any of that. All I care about is you guys. My, what's important to me is the relationship that I build with my you know audience, because guess guess who pays my salary. It's you guys. It's not another streamer. It's not their community. It's not. It's not um, somebody else's audience. It's not whoever hosts and raids my, you know, punk ass. It's not the people that I give shoutouts to on Twitter, like all these other streamers do. No. Who pays my salary? I always ask myself, who pays my salary? The viewers. You guys. So therefore, who do I need to care about? You guys. Therefore, if my content is all geared towards making sure my viewers have the best possible experience and best possible time. Simple. Like, it's not rocket science. But I guess to some people it is because what you realize is that a lot of other streamers and content creators, they care. For them, YouTube is not, they don't look at it as a job. Even if they say, oh, I want to go full time, I want to go full time. No, they're not treating it like a job. They're treating it as a narcissist. They're treating it as an ego ego thing they're doing it because they want to be famous they want people in the streets to say hey there's that youtuber he's so awesome that's what they want i don't care about that i'm the opposite way i just want money so if i want money then i need to make money how do i make money by caring for my audience because why you're viewing my content pays my salary therefore i do what makes me money simple i don't care about the fame the fame will come as a part of that whole thing like it should not be the focus of your of your stuff. My focus is making the content that people want to watch, want to see, and that will help them and keep them actually coming back because if you don't come back, then I make zero dollars. You know, simple. Like I said, not rocket science, but it, although it's not rocket science, it is a test of the heart. Exactly. It's, it's the test of the heart. The people who value themselves more than their audience are the people who will never make it. The people who value their audience and genuinely care for their audience, you know, are the ones that will make it. Because at the end of the day, I like you guys. I actually, gen what I enjoy, of course, yes, this is a job for me and I'm making money from it. But 
what I actually enjoy is the passion of being able to interact with you guys. And, you know, when I get to share my nerdy game knowledge with you guys, like, that's super awesome. And it's very, very fun for me to be able to do that. That's why I like what I do. Because I get to show these guys, like, hey, yeah, I'm a massive Diablo nerd, but, you know, this stuff works. And I get to show you guys all the nerdy math behind it and why this is good and talk about this and that. It's fun for me, and I enjoy that. I've always enjoyed nerding out games to others, and now I can do it for a living, so I'm happy with that. And hey, Mari, how you doing? I hope you're enjoying yourself. You know, it's talking a little bit about my motivations here, so people understand, you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing. But yeah, it's a fun experience, and it's very fun, and it's good to know that people support that. So I thank you all for giving me the opportunities to do what I do. Whoa. Carver Overseer, get out of my face. Okay, back to Kyovashad. I think we gotta get rid of these hearts. Okay, give me a sec. I've gotta get out of the hoodie. It's afternoon, so it's hot. Well, thank you guys for watching my content in the first place, man. You can thank me for the content, but it's actually thanks to you guys that I can make the content. In a way, it's a symbiotic relationship, you know? I'm very grateful to all the people that give me the opportunities. The donors and the super chatters, you know, the tippers, all of you guys are top tier, of course, because you guys are directly, you know, funding my rent and my bills and keeping me making content. But also, big thank you to the viewers, the people who take the time to turn up to the streams and stuff, because, you know, you don't do that. I also can't make shit, because, you know, it would just it would just not go anywhere. So, I owe a thanks to everybody, to everybody that's a part. Like, it's almost like we're all one big gigantic machine. We're all part of this big machine, and it's all of us together that make it work, you know? So, I'm happy to be providing a part of that machine, and to be, you know, a part of this big content engine with you guys. Like, that genuinely makes me happy. So, thank you guys for that. Wouldn't have this opportunity if not for the people. That's why I don't worry about other streamers and stuff like that. I worry about my people. And I thank you for the opportunities and the chance. I swear I can hear a treasure goblin. Did you hear that? There's no treasure goblin. Maybe it's just the wolves sounding like one. I swear I heard one. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, thank you guys for always liking, sharing, and watching. It's because all the people are engaged with my stuff that YouTube keeps recommending me out, so keep it up. Very true. Like, I mean, there are dozens of people who've done videos that, like, you know... Like, they've done their build videos, they've shown, oh, I, I cleared... Like, people are still doing it. Despite not understanding the level offsets. Like, I've seen so many guys say, I cleared World Tier Capstone at level 40. I cleared World Tier, World Tier 3 Capstone level 39. Ooh, new record. I'm like, yeah... That's an imitation of what I did last season, homies. Of course you can do it this season, but there's no... You're not going to gain any extra XP. You're wasting time. And you're not going to get any better gear either because of the gearing system. Items are not going to drop excessively above your level, FYI. All of this was in the patch notes. But you'll notice that most of these people don't do patch notes videos. They don't give a shit about patch notes because they don't give a shit about the people. They don't care. They're just there. They just, they just do what they see me do and think is what made me popular, but it's not that. Like, they don't even, they don't even start at the basic, and the basic should be care for your audience. Like, what does your audience want to see? It's not about what you want to make, or how cool you are, or how badass, or how big your penis is, no. 
It's about, is this going to help my audience? Yes or no? If this is not going to help my audience, I don't waste time. That's why I haven't done any capstone, like, run videos this season, because it's pointless. I've got so much more other content that people want to see. In addition to build videos, people want to know, why is this character so good? Like, I'm going to be doing fundamental explanation videos, things like that. I've got other projects from other devs coming down the line as well. Um, which you guys will see mostly during the Diablo off-seasons. You'll see a lot of stuff from... From other uh, companies as well. I'm not... The reason why I have all these deals is because developers know I'm pretty genuine with my stuff. And I also actually really care for my audience. I really do. So if I'm advertising for their game, they know that it's going to be one of those things where I can build up a long friendship with my audience and really bring in the good content. And of course, ultimately, that's what I want to do. Um, Andrew Barrick, I'll talk about what I want. Enjoy being channel banned. Anyone else? If you need me to talk about the game, how about you ask a question? I'll answer any question you like. But as a streamer, I'll talk about whatever the hell I want. So if anybody's not down with that, then... Guess what? You can fuck off. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you expect me to be polite to your ass? No. Today I've got no fucks to give because I'm sick. And also, my top supporters are not going to ditch me anyway. So, yeah. Genuine supporters are what I need. Fake supporters or supporters who don't give a shit about what I have to say other than, oh, let's please talk about the game. Go fuck off and you can go watch any of the other... Uh, why, don't, why aren't they watching a partner then? You know, if they want to talk about the game, go, go watch a partner. Go watch a partner. Oh, wait, that's right, because I have the information you want. So next time, don't be a disrespectful shit. And, oh, if you want me to unban you, okay, come on a separate account, beg me for forgiveness, and show some sincerity, you know? If you don't do that, I'm not going to unban you. Okay? Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Yeah. I'll try. I'll try. You know what? I've never tried the Burning Instinct node. I want to see whether or not it helps. Yep. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that guy's a troll. Most people who genuinely support me, like, if they have questions about the game, they'll just come in and ask regardless of what I'm talking about. Because they know I answer them. So most of the people that, you know, like, make statements like that, they're actually from the racist game. They just have a random account, they come in and try and troll and, you know, spout bullshit. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Uh, Barbara Heart stores up all the damage and multiplies it, dude. I mentioned that, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. But yes, so the Barbara Heart, how it works is that it'll store up all the damage that you do. All. Not just the crits, but if you... But it's a representation of how much damage you're doing, right? And then the stored up damage is a multiplier. So if you watch my damage video, right, you know how the calculation works. So you can actually see the, uh... You can actually see the multiplier effect, and the Barber Heart is a separate multiplier effect on top of all the other damage buckets. So basically, you're getting a multiplier on a multiplier. Uh -huh. So by adding this additional damage bucket that we call the Barber Heart, basically you can hit insane levels of damage. That's how some people have been hitting 63 mil with the Bone Spear Necro. But, you know, unlike with their other creations, uh, they are probably just going to let, um, 
like the, they'll let the bar heart you know go this season and then they'll uh, remove it in the next season so it's all good see you later RC I only just saw your goodbye now sorry about that But yeah, I fucking see this. Uh, for any observers in 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 the shadows or any trolls that might be observing me secretly, see what Brian just did. He asked a game question, so I gave him a game answer. You know. Yeah, I'm trying to get an upgraded version of the barber right now. Believe me, it's ass. I am not. Ha I'm straight up not having a good time. But it's for the sorcerer. It's crucial, so you got no choice. Like I would love to have a different choice. But you don't have a choice. You literally, like, um, you don't have a choice. Like, like I said, I would love to have a different choice, but you don't. For the sorcerer, it is a necessity to have barber. In fact, the barber heart is useful in all classes. It's just that some classes can get away with not having one. For example, the necro, because you can use two defensive brutal hearts and your damage is already so high, you don't need a barber heart. But if you insert a barber heart on the necro, you will actually see some insane shit happen. Like I said, 63 mil crits. I'm just saving my barber hearts for other cards. <gasps> I know, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You, you, you. There, treasure goblin dead. <laughs> I knew I was hearing one. And so one had to come up eventually. It's been hiding in the shadows secretly. He couldn't escape me that time. But yeah, Barber Heart is only in World Tier 3, so just keep spamming Malignant Tunnels when you can. But easiest way is get World Tier 4 and uh, go around spamming. But you do, you do need a Barber Heart. If you can't get one, then, well, that's why you gotta put, you gotta max out Urn of Malignants as soon as you can. Um, Dusky, you're going straight in timeout. Boog, don't even bother. Don't even bother with that. Time them out first, then tell them the rule. Um, first of all, if you come to a streamer stream, all right, you don't even know my community. You don't even know me. And the first thing is, uh, yo, anyone trying to play? I'm sorry. That's disres That's absolutely rude. That's absolutely disrespectful. We're not. We're not your recruitment channel. Please go and try that on a Diablo partner stream. And see what happens to you with the moderators there, okay? Because the same rules apply here. Don't try and don't try and treat me badly because I'm a smaller streamer, okay? No, no. You want to play with us? First of all, get to know my community. Get to know me. Support us. Show us that you're really down for us. And hell, you'll always find people to play in the Robot Nation. But if you come in with that kind of that kind of shenanigans, that kind of disrespect. I'm sorry, but that's straight into the timeout box for you. Alright, you don't want to be treated like a troll, don't troll. But hey, I did warn you guys, you know? This kind of thing does happen. What's going on? Ah, game server lag. Okay. But yes, boo. Don't you don't have to you don't have to even warn them first. You can go straight to timeout. Anyone who breaks anyone who breaks chat rules or you know literally didn't read chat rules or doesn't even ask about chat rules, uh, you will get a straight ban. Well, sorry, timeout first. Ban will be on a second offense. If you repeat your offense or you choose not to apologize and understand the rules here, then yeah, we will we'll just remove you. Like I said, we, we know that many of people come to a smaller streamer's channel to do that kind of stuff. 
because they think that there's going to be no consequences or that a smaller streamer is so desperate for viewership that they'll agree to anything. Sorry, but that doesn't happen here. Okay? You really you really want to? You should go to a big streamer's channel. Like, go, go on Twitch, top Diablo streamer, go there and ask in that channel and see how well it goes for you. Hey, Pen. What's up? Today has been such a nice day of meeting some very good supporters, but also... Hmm, I'm guessing some trolls don't like that, huh? Uh, I'm actually still dying on the inside, Pen. That's why I'm like talking in my quiet voice, but... Um, at least the fever's gone. That and I got some good news last night. I, I, I was only able to share it in my Discord because it's not official yet, but... Uh, you know, I've got some more game partnerships coming up, and... Um, I'm very excited for this next one. Uh, it was a surprise that, you know, um, it was a surprise to be sure, but uh, it's a very good surprise. Yep. Ah, don't worry, Mo. You're still you're still new. Get your altars and stuff done, then then hit the dungeons. You know, I really recommend you do that. One of the best things you can do is. Uh, Go altar hunting while watching the streams, you know? That way you got something to keep you busy. Something to keep your mind, you know, running. Because altar hunting can be pretty boring. But yeah, you know, don't don't sweat it because you will... Once you have all that stuff, you know, you get everything right, you'll be owning the butcher in no time. I mean, once you got all your stuff, you th that's when you'll be doing the... Pretty much what I'm doing, like the 1 million plus damage easy. All of this just racked up in seconds. Yep, I highly recommend the people clear that, you know? But yeah, I'm big on second chances, boo. Like, sometimes people just don't know. So, it's fine, but I always take a harsh stance against it because, you know... You got. I always like to show people straight up that look, we're not people that you know, fuck around with. Bro, how are you supposed to know? Because that's the basic rules of every stream, dude. Every every streamer has these rules. If other streamers don't have these rules, then you should be watching them. Well, next time, come in with respect, Dusky. First and foremost, if you don't even greet the streamer and your first thing is like trying to look for people to play, that's absolutely disrespectful. You're not here for the stream. You're not here for me. You're not here for my community. You're not here for my people. You're just here to look for somebody to play with, which is not how this thing's works. Streams are not your recruitment ground, dude. Streams are for people to enjoy being a part of a community. So that's not the attitude to have. Yep, yeah, okay, you couldn't care less about me? Goodbye, get banned then. And nerf champ, if you're just starting to get into stream, well, the first thing is never ask for streaming advice. Especially not on someone else's live stream. Because that is the first and most crucial mistake of any new streamer. Um, when you come into another streamer's stream and the first thing is like, I'm starting to get into streaming, it's like self-promotion. And basically everyone's gonna get absolutely turned off by that. Um, it's probably one of the worst things that you can do to start your career because now you basically look to everyone and this is just like look I a lot of streamers will straight up ban people for this I don't because I know that a lot of people need that help when they first start like at least they need to be told you need to understand streamer etiquette first so streamer etiquette is that you never mention anything about if you're going to another person's stream just as I was kind of mentioning earlier when you attend a stream, you're coming for the streamer, alright? If you if you don't care about the streamer or their community or you're not interested in that, don't attend the stream in the first place. Because, not only will you not learn anything, 
but it shows that you're going there with self-interest and people are very good and very quick to discern who is just out for themselves and who actually cares for others. So if you, if you kind of start off on that foot, that's usually uh, a death sentence. So I would suggest first and foremost, if you want to learn about streaming, never ask anyone for tips, never ask anyone for advice. There are plenty of tutorial videos online. Do your research, do your learning on your own. And if you do attend somebody's stream, it should be because you enjoy their content or you, you just want to be around them as a person. Don't attend because you want to learn stuff about streaming or you're trying to, you know, get some business secrets out of them. Usually that results in, well, no growth. I could give it, like, if I wasn't the type to avoid drama, I could give you some examples of people whom I know to be content creators, they attend my streams, they act like they're interested, they say hello, you know, hi, all this kind of stuff, but realistically they act for themselves because they also make content. I know them personally, I know their names, I'm not going to name them, but honestly it's sad to see that. And it's probably one of the big mistakes to avoid. Mm -hmm. No, even then, Pen, um, yeah, that, that, that would be straight up misunderstood. And 95% of the time, you're just going to end up with a chat ban or a, or a channel ban. No problem, Mo. You get some rest. Thank you for hanging out, man. I hope you enjoy the show. And, of course, uh, don't be like Dusky, you know. In fact, let, let's reread his statement just because it's funny as frick. I didn't come in with disrespect. I could care less about you. I'm here to find someone to play with, but clearly you're weird. Lol, Dusky. Never attend a streamer's stream, okay? Never attend a streamer's stream unless you are ready to be a part of their community. If you come in with your own motives and agendas, you'll get kicked out real quick. And then you're gonna have nobody and nothing. So. Respect is paramount in this world. Loyalty, family, respect. It's the motto that I lived by for a long time. Some of you who understand a more colored past may understand where that motto comes from, but regardless of the motto's origin, the spirit of the motto is what's important. Loyalty, family, and respect is crucial. If you don't have that, then, you know, you're not going to go very far. L. That was actually one of the first things I learned about streaming. When I first came into this industry, learned a lot through the hard way. But it all led me to this point, so I'm pretty okay with that. Now, if anyone does have genuine game questions, feel free to ask anytime. I mean, my actual viewers already know, but I always address game questions as soon as I am able to. Yep. Because at the end of the day, you know, everybody here, I treat them as my family. Hey, Renzo. You know, y'all are important to me. And that's why it's important that, you know, people not only recognize the importance of that, but that they respect it as well, you know? I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring a person into the clan if they're just looking for people to play with or they're just looking for this or looking for that no 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 this isn't this isn't tinder this isn't hinge this isn't bumble you know there are apps for that nah the only people i bring in are the people that uh genuinely want 
to be here. <laughs> I wish, I wish. If I was a god, I could avoid getting sick. Then I could just, you know, work 24-7. Like I said, I love my work. I fucking love working. Actually, I didn't check this enough. Lightning critical strike. I knew I was right to throw it away. Good price. <laughs> um let's go back to Kyova Shot for a second. Oh no, I'm talking about a separate topic, Renzo. You don't have to think about clans if you don't want to. I was addressing a separate topic. But for those that are interested, we do have a clan available just only for, you know, those people that attend the stream that want to be a part of the community. We do actually have a clan available. It is our own clan. Oh yeah, listen, there's a lot of people that do. But did you notice that it's only after I received all those lovely super chats, donos, and all that stuff, and uh, more and more people were coming into the stream? Hmm. All of a sudden, we suddenly get a bunch of trolls all at once. Yeah, like I said, and I've said this till I'm blue in the face, but some people just don't like the fact that I'm doing this. I'm doing what I'm doing and that I'm gaining traction doing what I'm doing. So they send their little minions around, you know, stir up trouble, try and get a bad reaction out of me. But thankfully my reactions are always consistent because there's the same reaction that everyone's going to get anytime. So <laughs> they're not going to get me to say something or do something that they can suddenly throw up in a clip in a video and, uh, you know, try and turn the whole internet against me for because, well, I mean, they're going to try, but it's probably going to backfire on them if they do. At the end of the day, this isn't my first rodeo, and I know what some people are trying to do. Some nasty actors out there, but it's not going to stop me, and it's not going to change how many people watch my content. And it's also not going to change how many people find me interesting or that come and see the value in my content. Oh, it's been happening. Dude, it's happened in almost every game that I play. I don't even worry about it anymore, Brian. It's very normal. What do you do if your stash is full early game? Do you sell rare swords you don't use and not the amulets? Um, no, well, your stash should never be full. You should be focusing on keeping only gear that you need. Never keep rares. Don't, don't keep rares. You only want to keep legendary aspects, but even then, only keep the minimum that you need. All right? Make sure you, you, you need to go in with a very clear mindset. Like, what do I need for this build? You see? If you don't know or you 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 keep everything or you hoard everything, you're just gonna end up with a full stash. So yeah. I I don't recommend keeping I never keep rares. I observe every rare that I get and what I don't need I sell for gold. Cause you may as well use the gold to stock up because like when you have enough gold. You can re-roll for the stats you really want, and that's crucial. That's far more crucial than stocking up. You don't need to stock up, okay? So, just never stock up. But yeah, that's, that's what I do. I, I don't keep stuff in my stash. Like, I keep legendary aspects, uniques, and then some of the malignant hearts that I feel can be used for other characters. You know, I keep those, but I don't really uh, push beyond that because stash space is limited. I try to keep mine clean. So I hope that helps. I rarely ever keep rares, like only if it's a very, very good rare with very good affixes that I want, right? Then I may store it for, um, like if I know I can't afford all the rerolls, I'll store it for a heavy rerolling session at a later time. Like this, that particular amulet that I got earlier was really, really good. And I know it's going to be a freaking awesome amulet, but at the same time, I am no fool. I know that in order to properly utilize that amulet, it's going to uh, it's gonna cost me like quite a bit of gold to re-roll it. And more importantly than that, 
I'm also going to have to find a new heart for that amulet. Because I, I put the barber heart in the amulet, so I don't have a new barber heart yet. Or actually a decent one that I can utilize, so fair enough. In that case, I will, uh, I just leave it in my stash for that reason. But once I do have one, then, ah, then, you know, I will unleash it. So those are the times where you will see me actually keep stuff in the stash. But again, it's very rare. Well, of course, I mean, of course he had no friends with an attitude like that, yo. Yeah, don't keep all the shiny ones, bro. Pointless. Just take the bare minimum that you need and then that's it. Minimum is the best. Thanks for all the heart emojis in chat, yeah? I hope you guys are enjoying the shenanigan show. Yeah, it's okay. You can always watch it back. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that, like, look... I'll treat them all like any other troll, but I'm just gonna tell you, honestly, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these guys are, um, are goons. They're, they actually, they actually appear to me to be the goons that are desperately trying to stop my rise in whatever way they can. You know? Like I said, maybe somebody ain't too happy, you know? Ah, that was a good teaching point. If... If any of you guys ever run out of mana like that, like, it's very rare, but it does happen. Like, let's say you got a very... Ooh, 19% though. I'll sacrifice a bit of armor, but... Yeah, but this other value is better. Never mind. I will save, however, this 19% because... Mm, that's really good for World Tier 3. Yeah, just DM me. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna go eat lunch, but before that, I'm gonna just do one last, uh, malignant tunnel. Why? Because I can. Because it's a great idea. One last malignant tunnel. Um... <laughs> One second. Yeah, Boog, that joke is like semi okay. A bit self disparaging, but it's okay. <laughs> Now, even for me, as you can see, right, I never really stash things unless they're just really awesome. Most of the time, I mean, I do stash some gems, but those will also, thank God, be done in Season 2. See you later, Mari. 
I'll be on again in the evening, although I won't be doing as long of a stream as I normally do in the evening. Probably I'll still hit about three hours or so. But I will see you guys in the evening. Uh... Uh, when the Sorcerer gets to level 70, I'll release the Sorcerer build. I know many people are interested, but quality work takes time, and that's why I thoroughly test before releasing it to you. Um, granted, this will obviously do decently, but the reason why I wait is so that people genuinely get a chance to see everything in action. We get to do it. We get to see it live first, observe it. Um, also, I'm going to hit the Nightmares. Probably in the evening, I'll hit the nightmares with this build and uh, see how it functions there. Then once it's all ready, it'll be published and released to you guys. Okay, yeah, I got my word on that. But again, I <sighs> multiple multiple poison explosions still gonna kill you. But yeah, you do have to gen gen generally wait because yeah, I must test it thoroughly first. Um, explain the rotation. No. And I don't show my gear on stream because people try to steal my content very often. What I will say though is that rotation is learned by observing streams. Watch all my streams as much as you can whenever I stream Sorcerer and you'll learn. Because you'll actually be able to see it all in action. Me explaining my stuff is not going to help you because you're not going to grasp it. Like, and I don't mean that in an insulting way, I just mean that like me just telling you do this is not going to, it's not going to show you how to deal with a variety of situations. It's always better to learn from, like, I, I would say practical, but it's not technically practical, but you get what I mean. It's better to usually learn from the real-life combat scenarios, like, observe how I engage in combat, why I engage in certain things in this way. Skill rotation, FYI, was explained in the early and mid-game build, if you watch the combat demonstration, because the skill rotation hasn't changed from there. But observing the streams is important because then you can see how I apply said rotation in a variety of scenarios and situations. For example, I'm still applying Blizzard, as you can see, in almost any scenario since it's crucial. Alright, I would always apply Blizzard before applying my eye shards. I use my defensives as necessary, but again, this was all explained. And it's the same thing. It's just it's just how does it apply in all the practical situations, you see? So come to streams, attend streams, watch streams. The more y'all watch, the more you're gonna learn. If you don't watch the streams enough, then that is usually where a lot of people go wrong. Because if you don't watch enough of the streams, no matter how good the build is, or no matter how good I tell you, the build is, you won't have the full picture. And that's usually the difference. The ones who perform the best are those that both watch the videos and also attend the streams. And like I said, some people say, oh, it's because he wants more viewership, he's trying to sell the stream to people. No, I'm not. Of course I want more viewership. Everyone does, but... It's for your own learning. Of course, that's up to you, up to you whether you believe me or not, but like I said, the results are pretty obvious. And the difference between those that actually attend the streams and those that don't, it's pretty stark. Because those that attend the streams, they see it live. They see how I move. They see how I play. They see what I do in each situation. So for them, it's like, oh, I remember Robot doing this. I remember Robot doing that. And it becomes just easy. Like so. See you later, Nerf Champ. Yeah, that is a bug. And I don't know if they're gonna solve it. But it is pretty annoying. Uh, that said, uh, I it doesn't apply all the time because there's been situations where I've been able to move. 
So I wouldn't say that it's like a consistent bug at all. However, um, as you can probably tell, Raymond is good for, you know, if you want to go pure offense and you really, really want to mess up somebody's day, go for it. But for the most part, I don't really find the Raymond of the Infinite useful because to me, it just seems it's okay, but not like the best of the best. It gives you a bit of offensive power, but that's it. And it's not really like something that I really need to round out my build. So yeah, it's not a visual bug. It's an, it's an actual bug bug. It's a, it's a straight up bug bug. So yeah, it's not, it's definitely not a visual bug. You literally just can't move. So I, don't, I hope that they fix that because it is a problem. And it's been a problem since I got it. So yeah, it's not to do with the latest patch or anything. I hope they fix that though. All right, guys, time for me to go eat lunch. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to Vamoosh now, but I'll see you guys this evening. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. Unfortunately, I'm still not 100% well, but I will be getting better slowly. So thank you for putting up with that. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream and learned about the sorcerer. If you have questions, ask anytime. I'll always do my best to answer, but of course, I will not be showing gear or stuff like that. None of that live on stream. That stuff you can observe as I change and as I go, but please wait for the late game video if you guys really want to just get an overall picture. However, watching streams is highly encouraged. If you want to learn, the best way is to watch the streams. Learn from observation because I do actually explain things along the way sometimes and I will happily showcase a lot of stuff, but within limits, of course, to protect my content as well. Yeah. Okay. See you this evening.